Hey guys, Robert here with the Home and Gun Save channel. A new age is upon us with the rise of electronic locks. Are you ready to make the switch? Let's find out. E-locks are becoming more and more commonplace on safes, and you might have some questions before switching over. Questions such as, are e-locks reliable? Are they loud? How do I change their battery? What happens if the battery dies? Should I get one with a backup key? What about an EMP? Sound familiar? Let's dive in. This is a valid concern, at least it was up until about 10 years ago. E-locks have seen a lot of change since they were first introduced. As the technology has gotten more reliable, so have the locks. These days, a quality electronic lock is just as secure as a good mechanical one and will protect your valuables just as well. Are you concerned a burglar will hear you trying to access your safe in the event of a break-in? A typical e-lock will make a beep noise whenever you push a button. The beeps don't tend to be very loud though, and some models offer a mute feature. If this is a concern for you, make sure that the lock that you're buying comes with that feature. Changing the battery on an e-lock is as easy as it gets. The exact procedure will vary by lock model. Typically though, the battery will be accessible from outside the safe. A small, easy open compartment houses a battery and it's simply a matter of popping out the old one and plugging in the new. How often you'll have to change the battery will depend on your safe usage. Are you opening it every day or just once a week? That said, it takes very little power for the lock to operate, so you can expect your batteries to last you a good while. We recommend changing them annually. We hear this concern a lot. What happens if the battery dies? The answer, nothing serious. You won't be able to open your safe until the battery is replaced. However, the lock's internal memory stores a combination even if the battery dies. Just drop a new battery in and you'll be up and running again. Oh, and on a final note with the batteries, for the best performance, we recommend Duracell batteries. This is because they supply the full voltage required by the device. As a result, they open your lock more consistently and no, we don't get any kickbacks for saying that. We just wish we did. EMPs, or electromagnetic pulses, can wreak havoc on electronic devices. How much havoc depends on the strength of the pulse and how far away the device is. It can cause interference, take a device offline temporarily, or even permanently damage it. Most quality electronic locks have been tested to be EMP resistant. According to experts, the lock itself serves as a Faraday cage or a shield, protecting the electronics inside the lock from electronic pulses. If you want to see an example of how EMP testing on locks is done, check the link in the description. We have an example from Securam that will tell you more. This is probably the most common customer service issue we get. It happens a lot, especially when you first get your safe or when it's been a while since you've used it. Unfortunately, there's not really a way to recover the combination you chose for your e-lock, but the good news is that there's an easy solution. Reputable safe manufacturers typically have a master code for each of the locks on safes that they've sold. So you call in, go through the process of validating your identity, and you can get the master code to your individual lock. Typically, backup keys are only found on cheap locks that aren't UL listed. Locks with backup keys aren't more reliable or trustworthy. A quality e-lock doesn't need a backup key, as the lock itself is built to do its job effectively. We get this question frequently when people are looking to buy a safe. People want to know if an e-lock is worth the price of the upgrade. The truth is, mechanical locks and e-locks are both reliable. It's really a matter of preference. Yes, e-locks are faster and easier to use in the dark, and you can change your combo whenever you want. But if you're fond of the old-fashioned look and feel of a mechanical lock, you're not settling for less. As long as it's UL listed, your lock will do its job well. For a PDF summary about what we've talked about today, I've attached a link in the description below. And before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe out there, and catch you later.